Okay. So this is called confocal endomicroscopy. It's a really geek term. I just love saying that. <laughs> and it's a camera that's in the gut. These, this is the human gut here. You're looking at cells in the lining of the intestines. These are just cells. And what they did, they injected people with a white dye. And they injected it into a vein that they knew going back up into the body from the leg, it was gonna go right past the gut. And so you're seeing this white here inside the cells, uh, the blood vessels inside the cells. Now, we're, the camera is inside the tube, inside the lumen of the intestines. So we're looking at the walls of the cells from inside the tube. And then they expose these people to wheat. Now I'm going to start it here, and this is still shots over five minutes that plays in about a minute or so. So I'm gonna hit go. Now you just watch what happens here as we watch, watch the white dye. And you'll see, you see how the white dye is coming more towards the surface here of the lumen. Now you see there's some white dye over here in the bottom, in the lower right side. And now you look up and you see in the upper right side, the white dye is leaking out. And now you're seeing it over here in the center, in the upper center area. This is intestinal permeability or the leaky gut in reverse. When they expose the gut to wheat, this dye is out in the lumen within five minutes. And when I show that video in, uh, uh, seminars, uh, the docs, they just sit there go, wow, wow. And for some of you, uh, it, you know, it may be hard to visualize where, where we are in there, but that's showing leaky gut when it's happening. And it happens within five minutes of being, uh, of the wheat getting out of the stomach into the small intestine within five minutes. That's why you always have to take E3 Advanced Plus before you start eating so that nothing comes out of the stomach that's not fully digested because that's where the leaky gut occurs.